in this video, I am going to help this noob get to level 700 and reach 2nd C. I will be giving you tips and guides along the way. Oh, and please don't forget to use star code GamerNom when purchasing Robux. So are you ready to start this journey? I'm ready. Let's go. Where the echo slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Hello. Gamer Nom is back. So to start this grinding journey, we will defeat bandits. First step of the day, learn how to lure. This will make your grinding more efficient. Next up, learn how to use your skill properly. So for our first skill, we have the Heat Wave Beam. Guys, do not use it directly at your enemy. See that? If you point your skill towards your enemy, they will go flying in random directions. So make sure to aim properly. Guys, to do that, first lure your enemies onto a wall. For example, this one. Here you go. And guys, check this out. Aim on the floor near them so that they will go flying towards that wall. Check this out. There you go, guys. So you don't need to lure again. Just wait for your skill cooldown and use it on your enemies. Boom. Okay? So the goal here in this first map starting island is to reach level 10. Again, this dragon fruit is not a logia type of fruit. So the moment that you reach the required level, make sure to go directly to the next island. So on the jungle, you can start by defeating monkeys. Again, I am in the public server. So there are two types of players here. Some might help you and some might just bully you. For example, they will try to get your kill for no reason. And some players might try to like flex on you. See that? <laughs> Well, anyway, guys, it took me some level to record it properly, but here, just lure one, two, three, four. Okay, so we have four here. Again, lure them towards a wall, like this one. Okay, dodge and use your skill. They will fly towards that wall, and no problem in luring. Okay, so goal here is to reach level 20, guys. 20. So for me, I reached level 26 here because I really had a hard time recording because of other players. So when you reach level 20, you can start defeating this, the Gorilla King. Guys, in this place, don't need to worry, just hit it. And someone will try to snatch it from you, but don't worry. As long as you've damaged it, no problem. Don't forget to tell them they're cool even though they killed you. Don't worry, the moment that someone killed you, PvP will be disabled. So now back to grinding gorillas, guys. So you just need to lure four of them because you need to kill eight, right? So two sets. Lure them properly. Use your skill again. Always aim on the ground. So there you go. You need to level up here until you reach level 30. Check this, dudes. They won't even let me record a solo kill of a boss. Check that crew out. Monkeys, 16 million bounty. Moving on, our next target island is, I think, the Pirate Island. So let's go. Okay, here we go. Oh, someone is grinding, so we need to like move on to another server. You need to defeat 8 pirates. Very easy, guys. Just lure 4. There you go. Again, aim on the ground. See that? If you do that properly, you can level up fast here. Guys, you're gonna level up with this pirates until you reach level 55. What gamer gnome? We're not gonna defeat the brute, the mobs next to this. Yes, guys. First off, your energy is so low yet, your damage is so low, and they are so far apart. So you're just gonna waste time. So at 55, you're gonna defeat Boggy the Clown. Guys, you can just lure him inside this house. Dodge, dodge, wait for your cooldown. Check this out. There you go. Dodge, dodge, wait for him to attack. There you go, and use your skill. And that's it guys. Go back to the pirates until you reach level 60. And after that, we can now proceed to our next island. Stat check, 46 melee, 46 defense, 88 blocks fruit. So next island is the desert. So here we are. So again, don't forget to save and start your quest by defeating the desert bandits. 8, defeat 8. So again, lure. 1, 2, 3, 4. Look for a wall. Here's the wall, use your first skill in the ground towards them, boom. Just wait for your cooldown and attack them again. So gamer gnome, until what level? Level 90, guys, 90. Again, we're gonna skip this quest, the desert officers, why? Check this out, I tried luring them and they will fly all around. Maybe the wall is so low, there you go. So, but guys, if you want to defeat this, go, go ahead. I prefer to make things easier 
There you go. Again, at level 90, you can now proceed to the next island. And that island is the Frozen Village. As in the Frozen Village, you can buy the Sky Jump, the Enhancement, there you go, and the Flash Step. Okay. So after buying that, start your quest by defeating the Snow Bandits. So how to level up here fast? Lure them all inside a house, and that house is this one. There you go. So once they're inside, you can kill them. But this is kinda hard to be honest. So another trick is lure them. Again, there's a wall just behind you. Attack them with your skill, and everything will be easier. Okay, so next up, when you reach level 105, you can start defeating the Yeti. Okay, so we're gonna skip the snowman again. Why? Again, they're so far apart. Again, you need energy to dash to make things faster and we don't want that. There you go. How do you defeat the Yeti? Very easy. Because the impact of your skill is so strong that it will go flying around again and you don't need to dodge it much. Okay? Is there an easier way, Gamer Nom, to defeat the Yeti? Yes. Lure him here and you just need to wait for your first skill cooldown. No problem, guys. The only problem here is if someone wants to bully you. At Mastery 75, we will unlock Dragonflight, and at level 130, yes guys, 130, we've skipped one quest again, the Petty Officers, we're gonna go straight with the Vice Admiral, how do you defeat him? Jump here, use your first skill, sometimes he will attack you, but that's fine, you can regenerate your HP, there you go, let's keep on attacking him, guys don't do close combat, oh, we got the coat, so let's wear it, let's check it out. Wow, oh, white beard. Shout out to all white beard fans out there. Guys, we're gonna level up here until you reach level 150. And yes, we're gonna try and be more patient with the petty officers. And when you reach level 150, we are now going to head to Skylands. Defeat seven sky bandits. It's kinda easier, they're located here. Lure four, again four. Use our technique. Look for a wall. Or you just need to jump towards here. Check my cursor, guys, my pointer. If this explodes, they will not move. Okay, do you see that? You can defeat them easily. Our goal here is to reach 190 and after that, go to the Dark Masters. But Gamer Nom, the level requirement is lower, right? That is correct. But, guys, our damage is not that strong. So I want to maximize our damage. So I increase our Black's Foot stat first before moving into this area. But don't worry, we will leave this area when you reach level 225. Before that, stat check, 160 melee, 140 defense, and put all your stats in the blocks food. So our next area is the Coliseum. Here, we've already unlocked the Dragon Claw, so let's check it out. X skill. Guys, this is just a single target, but the damage is very high with damage per second burn. We're gonna grind here with the Toga Warriors. You need to defeat 7, so lure 4 or 3 at a time, defeat them. Oh, by the way, at level 225, we can go to an area, the prison, right here, and we can defeat the Warden and the Chief Warden. Guys, just use your Dragonic Claw. Again, that's Dragonic Claw, sorry, and your Heat Wave Beam when they get near. So guys, after that, go back to the Toga Warriors and level up until you reach level 280. Yes, the level requirement for Gladiators is 280. So again, you need to defeat 8 now. Lure 4 here, 1, 2... Three and four. So lure them. Again, aim on the ground. Our goal here is level 320. Don't worry, I'm still gonna show you how I defeated Swan. There you go. Let's defeat this boss. There's a bug here. Check that out. Our Dragonic Claw is so strong <laughs> that Swan went through the wall. There you go, guys. It's easy to defeat. We got the coat here. Not bad. Now we will go towards our next village, which is the Magma Village. Guys, military soldiers, you need to defeat 9. This is kinda hard to be honest. Again, because we only have one skill for AoE. There you go, defeat 3 here. And then move towards the 2 mobs here. There you go, to defeat 5. 5 only guys. After that, you need to defeat 4 more to finish a quest. So the goal is 330 here. And after that, you can now go to the Military Spies. This quest is easier compared to the previous one because there are nearer and there's a big wall at the back. And to make things faster, at level 350, you can start defeating the Magma Admiral. Akainu, here you go. 
you can leave this area when you reach level 375. And our next goal after that is the underwater city located here. There you go. So we're gonna start with the Fishman Warriors. Actually, we're gonna stay here, guys. You just need to defeat four at a time. There you go. Lure them and defeat them easily. There you go. Why are we gonna stay here? Guys, for the Fishman Commandos, they're so far apart. It's very hard to lure them. But don't worry, we have the Fishman Lord at 425 to make things faster or leveling up faster. There you go again. Once you have the Dragonic Claw, you can easily defeat mini bosses that are within your level, okay? Once you reach level 450, you can now proceed to Skylands, the upper yard, and defeat God's Guards. In my opinion, this area is the best area for Dragonfoot users because number one, they're so near and they can also jump so they won't get stuck and they spawn really, really fast. There you go, just defeat one. No need to like, you don't need a wall because they will go towards you, they can jump. And this is the time where you will unlock your fire shower. Now your grinding will be a lot faster. This skill will really make your grinding faster. Our target level with the God's Guards is level 550. But you can also defeat Whisper when you reach level 500. Again, it's kinda easy. Just dodge at the side when he uses his cannon. Use your skills. Just be patient. Okay, wait for him to attack first. Dodge, dodge after the cannon. Use your skills and boom. So guys, at 550, you can start defeating the Royal Soldiers. So we have skip again the Royal Squad. Don't worry about that. It's fine. They won't get mad. So you need to lure three here. There you go. Defeat them. And after that, lure two more on the other side of this island. Just a reminder, you can start defeating NL Thunder God at 575. Again, guys, that's kind of easy. I have a video wherein I defeated it at level 300. So no worries. Thunder God. Again, just keep on dodging. You have enough energy at this time. There you go. Defeat this. And go back to the Royal Soldiers. Our goal level here is 625. After that, you can now proceed to our last island of grinding the Fountain City. Just focus on the Gallic Pirate. Why? Guys, the Gallic Captains, guys, they're so far apart. Again, energy is an issue with this fruit. So guys, lure 4. Defeat them. Wait for 4 mobs to spawn again and defeat it. That's one quest. Guys, don't forget to use the free codes. 2 times experience codes. And our goal here is to reach level 700. Don't forget to defeat Cyborg to make things faster. There you go. Is he easy to defeat? It depends on the player. For me, it's I can say it's easy because he was able to kill me here. But don't worry, we've reached level 700. Congratulations. Go to the detective at the prison for your final quest to go to the second sea. Now talk to this military detective, he will give you a key. Go to the frozen village. There you go. Use your key here and you will fight the ice admiral. He's here. There you go. Is he easy to defeat? It really depends to you. Level 700 boss, use your X skill. Wait. Again, he got bogged so I need to like go to another server. Okay, so defeat him guys. Guys, avoid using your Dragonic Claw. Yeah, to be honest. Because he will stun you here. Again, avoid using your Dragonic Claw. Go back to the detective. He will ask you to go to the middle town. And after that, talk to this pirate, experienced pirate, captain. And he will help you go to the second scene. So guys, that's it for this video. Is it hard, Gamer Gnome? Yes. It took me more than 10 hours to level up until 700. So here we are, second C. Again, if you want to see all the skills, I have a video of this. I will put the link in the description or in the upper right part of this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom, and Gamer Nom out.